Perhaps you've heard of Resolution Copper's proposal to develop what would be the largest copper mine in the United States, a project that for about four decades will supply the U.S. with billions of pounds of copper, create thousands of American jobs, and generate billions of dollars for the U.S. and local economies. But it's important to understand that before mining can begin, Resolution must undergo a rigorous federal review process. The Review Centers on a Mine Plan of Operations, or MPO, a document that details every aspect of the mine's operations and impact. The Resolution Copper Mine will create thousands of jobs and be one of the most technologically sophisticated and efficient mining operations in the world. It will rely on a well-established technique called block caving to extract the deposit that lies 7,000 feet deep. Resolution Copper has spent over a billion dollars to date in order to develop a detailed mine plan of operations. As promised to the public in November of 2013, Resolution Copper submitted its mine plan of operations to the U.S. Forest Service. The MPO describes every aspect of the project. Once the plan has been reviewed for completeness by the United States Forest Service, comprehensive review of the project under the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, will officially begin before a final MPO can be issued. The NEPA process is led by the USFS and involves a review by other state and federal agencies like the Environmental Protection Agency. During NEPA, the USFS and their independent third-party contractor will also release a Draft and Final Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS, which analyzes the overall environmental impact of the Resolution Copper Project. Under NEPA, the USFS is required to complete consultation with Native American tribes. Prior to a record of decision being issued, Section 106 of the National Historic Preservation Act will require our mine plan of operations to comply with all regulations relating to Native American cultural and religious sites. Mandatory public meetings and open comment periods are part of the process as well. Resolution Copper may even have to adjust its MPO in light of the regulatory agencies and public's input. At the end of the process, the USFS will issue a final environmental impact statement and record of decision. Only then can a final MPO be issued by the USFS. Resolution Copper's commercial mining operations cannot begin until it is complete. You can access Resolution Copper's mine plan of operations by visiting resolutioncopper.com.